iPhone madness, iPhone. Don't get me wrong, I love my job, but the problem with being a tech reviewer, let alone a phone reviewer, especially I guess a phone reviewer who does a lot of videos, shows his phone on YouTube and stuff, is that I have to be really careful of not showing personal information. Now a while back, I put my IM, my AIM, IM login on a YouTube video just to kind of see what would happen. And now I can't even use that screen name anymore because every time I log in, I get a ton of messages. So when I loaded up uh, the new version of BeeJive, version 2 of BeeJive IM, which is one of the best uh, instant messaging clients available for Apple's iPhone and iPod Touch, I figured, you know what, let me set up that, that email account, or that AIM account, the old one, Krabby Krab, and just see what happens. I'll try it out with, you know, with BeeJive with this account, do a video of it, see what happens. So I loaded up BeeJive, and uh, here you can see it loading up, and instantly, I'm going to, I don't want to show you the information here, but here's my information, I want to show you other people's. Instantly, as soon as I logged in, I had like five chat requests, honestly, within the first five seconds. I'm not saying it's because I'm fun to talk to or popular or anything like that, I'm just saying, you know, you put your name on YouTube and people are like, dude, which phone should I get? Which phone should I get? Dude, which phone should I get? Anyway, occupational hazard. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about BeeJive. BeeJive version 2, you can see that they're just coming in, coming in. It's the new uh, version of the iPhone chat client. It is absolutely excellent in the very limited amount of time that I've been using it. Um, oh, here I am. What's up? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and there's me up my nose. I'm doing this upside down on my webcam. Uh, just because it's easy. But uh, I'm showing you the BeeJive interface. It's a native iPhone interface. It uh, works with a bunch of different AIM client or AOL client, AOL, <laughs> bunch of different IM clients, which is great. You can see when you go to add an account, you've got your choice of different protocols, ICQ, Google Talk, AIM, MobileMe, Jabber, all kinds of stuff. They're going to have Facebook chat uh, support coming soon, a couple other protocols coming soon, I believe. Very easy to set up. You just uh, you know tap the protocol, add your name, your password. Uh, you can add a description if you want. That's it. Sets it up for you. I had no problem setting up my Krabby Krab account here. Uh, I'm telling you right now, I hardly use this account anymore. So uh, don't be upset if you can't find me. Um, you can set your your status messages and everything. What I really like about uh, BeeJive, in addition to all the other stuff it does, here you go. I'm not going to show you who this one's from, but a very nice message. Somebody said, "I love your videos. Very nice. Thanks. I appreciate that." But you can see BeeJive works in widescreen mode, so I can hold the phone up uh, in regular, you know, landscape mode, and it works. I can rotate, auto rotate with the accelerometer, and it kicks around to widescreen mode, which is great. Uh, it also supports file transfer. You can send photos inside of the, the chat message, which is very cool. You just tap on the window here to start typing. And uh, you can reply just like that. Widescreen keyboard. Very nice. So you can, uh, you know, while you're tapping your message, you can hit the emoticon button. You can enter your emoticon. No problem. So many different messages I'm getting from people. But you can also, you can send um, a new IM chat here. It integrates with your contacts list as well in iPhone. And then also when you have uh, new messages, you know, new chats that you're not paying attention to, it'll buzz you or it'll, uh, it'll make a noise. You can set it to do whatever you want. And then it shows you up in here your different options. And you can do um, file transfers, which are really cool. You can send photos over I am, which is great. So here's the photo interface and uh, I can take a new picture or I can go to my photo album. So I'll take a new picture and I'm going to try this out. So there's kind of a customized camera interface there, which is pretty cool. Lots of hard work went into this. I'm going to take a picture of myself just because it's fun. There it is, a really lousy picture of myself. And I'm going to use that one. And it's going to drop it. It 
doing its thing. And there you go. It's dropping it into the IM for me. It's connecting. I'm connected over Wi-Fi right now. You can connect over Wi-Fi, 3G, or Edge. And there you go. It sent it. Very cool. Oh, and now it crashed. <laughs> oh, well, nothing's perfect. Anyway, also with BJive IM, um, because of Apple's push notifications, it can't run in the background. But what happens is that you stay logged in. And you can see my notification thing here says I have 10 new, uh, 10 new notifications in BJive. So it keeps you logged in, and then when you go back to the BJive application, it'll tell you how many chats you know you still have going on, and uh, all these messages to loot to deal with. What phone do you currently use? Do you know what's the best phone to get from Verizon that's touchscreen? Hey man, what would you prefer? Like a Snap-on keyboard? Where do you live? What's your phone number? I'm not gonna tell you my phone number. Anyway, there you go. It's uh, BJive IM. Version 2 just came out in the App Store. Uh, definitely one of the best, if not the best, IM applications, I think, uh, available for iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, like I said, you know, it supports so many protocols, which is really nice. It does the file transfer, which is cool. And, uh, you know, more and more uh, using IM is, you know, on a phone is not only a viable alternative to a desktop IM client, as these things get easier to use, also, you know, it's a viable uh, alternative to using text messaging. If you've got IM and your friends, you know, mostly use IM or you're hip to the ways of going back and forth between IM and, and SMS, you can save yourself on text messaging costs, especially on iPhone where the data plan does not come with text messaging from uh, AT&T in the U.S. You know, you could just use IM, data's free, or you've already paid for the data, and then save on the text messaging costs. There you go. It's BJive IM is available on the Apple App Store now, and uh, it is. Do we have a Do we have a price for this thing? Fifteen ninety nine. Not cheap. <clears throat> My voice. Jeez, Louise. I keep saying BJive. It's Beehive. The J is pronounced like a H. Huh. Beehive. You know, like what a bee flies in and out of, right? It's your beehive of messaging. Anyway, uh, Beehive, company based out of San Francisco, Be Beehive IM, version two, $15.99 from the iTunes App Store. So not cheap, but you do seem to get what you pay for. It seems to be a really good uh, application thus far. We'll have more on Beehive IM and all the new iPhone and iPod Touch apps on phonedog.com. Till next time, I'm gonna go deal with all these messages. See you later. Yeah.